Um, you ever been in Taco Bell? I, I'm not a big fan of Taco Bell. And now I have a reason. I have an excuse. Lisa, you want to go to Taco Bell? Lisa, there's not anything there that I can eat because I'm diabetic and it will hurt me. Play this little game. But I, I remember driving up to Taco Bell one time and you see all these signs all over the all over the building on the windows. You know, blackjack taco free after dark and blah blah blah. Free, it's free, it's free. And I was explaining to my father in law one time, I said, Sterling, did you know that there has been an attempt right now to influence your mind into accepting the mark of the beast? My my father in law is a is a great man when it comes to mechanical things or designing things, he is a genius with a sixth grade education. Guy's amazing. But he's pretty no nonsense. Okay? How's that work? And I showed him. I said, Sterling, you know, you walked in here. On the outside, you saw the sign that said free. There's actually a number there. So you go inside the building and look out the windows and it's reversed. Now you see a number, 33. And now every time I go to Taco Bell and I look at those signs and it says free, I'm going, there's a number 33 right there. They didn't, and your brain takes all that stimulus in and it does all, it just says, well, let's turn it upside down. Let's do this, let's do that. Do you remember back in the 70s when all these rock groups were doing backward masking? And it's actually, you can actually see it in the scripture. God said that he'd turn everything around backwards. They would go backwards. Everything was backwards. If you're, if you're not living for the Lord, it's backwards. Aleister Crowley telling everybody, do things backwards, play records backwards. And so there was these messages in this music. And I really believe that the brain subconsciously is taking this stuff in turning it around, doing things with it, and perceiving it on a subconscious level. But it's there. And it and it's part of the impulsiveness and the feelings and the desires that we have. So let me show you a verse that matches what I just said. Let me show you this again. There is the free taco with the 33 in it. And then look at this verse. 1 Corinthians 15. See, I tried not to be subtle with it. 33! Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. What was God trying to tell us? What is he trying to tell us right now? He's telling us that one of the most important messages of the Bible, and that is don't believe the lie. Don't fall for it because that's what it is. It's not the truth of the gospel, the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. It's not that. It's a lie. And it and it and that lie was brought to you not straight on, but subtly. The Bible says, now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Paul said, I'm worried about you guys because I fear lest Satan, as he tempted Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be, he used the same word there, corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ Jesus. So he says, be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. Let me give you another illustration of this. And, and I will tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to use a dirty word. But I'm going to, there's a word here that I don't normally use. I don't normally use it. I know we have young people watching and I know, you know, and, and I try to keep everything that I have G rated. And believe me, there are a ton of examples that I was looking at on the internet and I'm going, oh, I can't, I can't use that one. I can't use that one. But I'm going to show you, some of you already know this, but I'm going to show you just how subtle this this is and and when you see that and you say okay pastor hog breath i'm not convinced that everybody that works for taco bells in the illuminati okay i'm not convinced let me read you some scripture ephesians and i've said this before 
Ephesians 2, wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So what does that mean? I'm going to give you the sense and the meaning of it. At one time, all of us were in the Illuminati. We were. At one time, we were children of our father, the devil. At one time, we were led, not by the Holy Spirit of God, but by the spirit of Antichrist. At one time, in time past, ye walked according to the course of this world. What is the course of this world? The course of this world takes ye, everybody, to the mark of the beast and thus eternal destruction. That's the course of this world. You and I were put on a different course. But what was leading us to that? The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So, yeah, there's a guy who works for a marketing agency, an ad company. And, oh, think about this. Paul said, oh, foolish Galatians, who hath bewitched you? Do you remember the show Bewitched? What did both Darren's? The first Darren and the second Darren. And I'll be honest with you, I like the first Darren because he wasn't queer. Second, second Darren was, okay? Both Darren's worked for an ad company, marketing, advertising. And marketing companies spend a gazillion dollars a year studying the human brain studying how they can use images, colors, words, graphics, subtle things that you consciously would never pick up on. But these guys have hinged their entire marketing strategy on the fact that your conscious mind is only going to pick up a fraction of what your subconscious mind is going to pick up. Have you ever seen full page ads in magazines? And what do you do with them? You flip, you flip, and then you go back to the next article. They gotcha. They gotcha. Because your conscious mind was focused on one thing on that ad. Your subconscious took in the entire page just like that. And evil communications were corrupting good manners. So yes, there's a guy working at an ad agency who's lost. He's not saved. And so he doesn't have a problem morally in his morals, has a problem in the world deceiving people. That's his job. But also there is a spirit that is on him and in him and leading him. And so we start seeing all of these things around us that we never used to see before. I've